It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. So what is going on everybody, it's your favorite ninja, Sets BK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, back at it again, bringing you yet another easy upgrade guide for the new Zombies map, Ancient Evil. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to upgrade the Fallen Hand of Hemra into the Redeemed Hand of Hemra, very fast and very easy, just like before. Again, I hope this guide helps you out, you know the drill, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications for good luck. Okay, so let's get into the video. Just like every other gauntlet upgrade, first thing you want to do is open up the amphitheater and activate the sentinel artifact. Once you have that done, you want to start looking for dormant hands around the map, laying in clay pots. These are like glowing, sort of like how they were on Dead of the Night. Once you find it, pick it up and you can take these hands to any ritual of your choosing. But like I said, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the Hand of Hemra. So, once you have the Dormant Hand, you want to go over to the shrine located by the Monument of Craterus and activate the ritual. Now stay in the glowing circle for 30 seconds while you defend yourself against oncoming zombies. Once the ritual is done, you can now pick up the Fallen Hand of Hemra and start upgrading it right away. First, you want to take the hand over by the upper road and look over to the outer part of the map. You'll see a circular reflector you can shoot to rotate. Rotate it to a position where it will reflect your shot into the white crystal nearby. Once you do this correctly, the light should be captured in this bowl nearby. Melee the knife with your gauntlet and return back to the shrine quickly because this is a timed step. Once you get there, melee one of the urns by the statue to transfer it. If you mess up, don't worry, just go back, shoot the reflector again, and try again. Once you have completed the first one correctly, now it's time to head over to the gymnasium bathhouse, and there you will find another reflector hanging on the temple of the Apollo, and another crystal nearby. Repeat the same process and return the light back to the urn in front of the shrine. Then head down to the temple terrace, and there you will repeat the same process for a third time. Line up the reflector, shoot the crystal, and return the light back to the shrine. Once you've placed the third orb of light down, a portal will open up and you can enter it. It will take you outside of the map to use the Redeem Hand of Hemra and get used to its special abilities. Once you have killed enough zombies with it, you will then see another portal open up and you will be automatically teleported back to the map, wielding the Redeemed Hand of Hemra. And now, just like the other gauntlets, you can have fun killing with its special abilities. And oh boy, do I love this wonder weapon. This is by far the favorite one of them all. And I think one of my favorites ever. The special ability is so, so cool. But anyway, enough nerding out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, be sure to drop a like or Mr. Beast will delete your Apex account. I'm Seth BK1, aka Richard J. Tater co-captain of the Spud Force, and I bid you taters, laters.